Hello everyone, I'm Santosh and today I'm here to introduce our revised through 500 question series for UPSC Civil Services Preliminary Examination. Now, for examination, why solving MCQs are important? There are, I, I feel there are three basic reasons. One, it helps you test yourself. It helps you understand whether all the things that you have studied if those things would be able to help you solve the preliminary examination paper. That is one aspect. Second, it helps you revise the entire syllabus. Sometimes through MCQs you get to know that there are sections of the syllabus which you have not covered. And especially with this kind of series where for each subject we will be solving 500 questions, we would ensure that each portion of the syllabus gets properly covered. And third, it gives you the confidence to appear in the examination. If you have solved 500 questions for each and every subject, it would mean more than 3000 questions. It would give you that confidence that yes, I am exam ready. So, to give you all these advantages before you go for uh, exam, we have come up with our revised through 500 question series. The first subject that we will be starting with is science and technology. Now, for science and technology, we already have taken one session. On 1st of March 2022, on space and biotechnology, we have discussed 100 questions. We will be starting with the second session this month, that is on uh, 22nd April, on Friday, we will be starting with second session. Uh, third session would be held on the same day from 2 p.m. So, at 11 a.m., we will be starting with the second session. Uh, at 2 p.m., on the same day, we will be starting with the third session. In the second session, we will be discussing nuclear science and technology, biology, basics of biology, like UPSC recently have been asking questions related to cells, cell wall, those kind of things. We will be solving questions related to them. Then health section. Health has somehow become very, very important. Over the last five years, you will see that every year, two, three questions from health are asked in preliminary examination. Now, when we talk about health, we talk about viral diseases, we talk about bacterial diseases, we talk about medicines, we talk about vaccinations. All those things are going to covered in are going to get covered in this session. In the third session, we'll deal with computer, IT, and electronics. Again, a very very important topic. Like if you look at developments which are taking place in the field of computer, IT. Uh, you would see metaverse, you would see machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep neural networks. All these things are very important and it's very crucial that you solve questions on each of these topics to get proper understanding and to get confidence for the examination. Then, seven days later, that is next Friday on 29th April, we'll take two sessions, 100 questions in each session. In the first session at 11 a.m., we'll be talking about nanotechnology, we'll be dealing with robotics, we'll, dealing, we'll be dealing with intellectual property rights and the defense section. Then on 29th April, the last day, we would one try to revise the, uh, on 29th April, in the second session, we'll try to revise the entire syllabus. At the same time, we'll deal with miscellaneous current affairs topics, we'll deal with uh, physics, chemistry portion of NCRT, we'll try to get some questions from there. So this, we would and with this, we will complete the session on science and technology. If this session is successful, if the response is good, response is good we will also be coming up with sessions on environment, biodiversity and climate change. Last year, we had solved 500 questions on environment, biodiversity and climate change. So, right after this week, we'll, uh, right after this fifth session, we will start session on environment, biodiversity and climate change. And if, you, if people would want, if, you, if, if the response would be good, we would also be cover, uh, coming up with sessions on RTFQ sessions on economy first and then polity and history. I personally I do not find myself very good at geography. So, I would not be able to take geography sessions even if there is demand. But for these five topics, I would come up with RTFQ series if the response is good on YouTube. Now, uh, the first session, so the first session has already been done. As I told you, you can see the description of the, this video to look at the first session. The second session would be coming up on 11th am, oh sorry, uh, at 11 am from, uh, on 22nd April. The syllabus would be nuclear science and technology, biology, health, these three topics. So, be prepared for that, uh, cover your syllabus, come and solve 100 questions. The question for people who are watching it online, you can also come to our offline center to attend these sessions. But for people who are watching it 
online on YouTube, you would be able to download the question paper an hour before. That is, the session is starting at 11 a.m. You will be able to download question paper from 10 a.m. on this Telegram channel. Now, uh, the link for this Telegram channel is also given in the description. So, I'm hoping to see you all on 22nd April, Friday, 11 a.m. Let's be prepared. Uh, let's prepare ourselves for this examination in the most exhaustive way possible.